Okay, I'm um, continuing with my jewelry process and I wanted to show you what the other part of it is and that is um, getting ready and preparing the back and the surface for um, to make it look like metal. Um, you know, these are just pieces that I painted black and what I'm going to do is um, go in and create surfaces um, that will either look like wood or metal or even something that um, like stone or organic more you know more organic and earth like and again like I said you know when I first started this I wanted to create this jewelry as if it were to look it would as if it were ancient pieces um, and here's an example of one of the ones that I did um, this is um, just a piece of um, foam board and when you paint on foam board it has a really interesting effect um, it cracks and um, really just really a neat thing to work on so you might try foam board at some point you know it was really an accident that I really did and discovered because I was painting on foam board just to you know to put the to use foam board as a surface and I discovered that um, it because of of the resist or whatever is that's on the foam board itself it creates an interesting effect and really this is also something that I recycled from a collage that I did a couple years ago when I was um, doing the uh, series on the wise woman I also went through a period where I was um, using owls in my work and um, just really wanted to incorporate that into this collage but then when I looked at it sometime a couple of days ago I thought hmm I think I'm going to just recycle the material and um, make that into a, a piece that I can use for a pendant um, this is a large pendant so it, it's really going to be cool and the thing is it's going to be special for people who love to work to wear large pieces of jewelry and also want to wear something that looks more natural um, and so I have somebody in mind for this um, and I also will um, show the process that I go through in the finishing of this when I get to that point and this is interesting um, even though it looks like a big shell it is not it's actually um, a cup that had a lot of iridescent paint in it and um, I cut the cup and just melted it down and it created this really interesting organic shape to it which again it looks more like a shell and um, I'm going to use this again for um, a surface to do some embellishing and um, um, just add some things to it. It's not going to be a lot because I really like the look of it being almost like a big shell and so I'll probably leave it pretty much leave it the way it is. Um, but again this was a necklace that I was wearing for a while and decided to finish it a little bit more and so again I'm recycling one of my own necklaces that I created myself and um, this is um, uh, like this is like a face that I did um, now this may be too big and too heavy for a pendant but um, I'm gonna finish this it's actually almost done I may put this on a um, I may actually put this on um, a canvas and this is created with uh, polymer clay and um, I painted the face and I did the texture on the polymer clay and I added all kinds of different things in the polymer clay when I baked it I embedded some things in it and you can see also there's like a thing that looks like a headpiece and also something that looks like our hair that's actually um, computer wire and I built this on a I think it was a belt buckle that I found at a antique store or something I'm not really sure what it was but this is what I'm doing and this is one of the um, women's series that I'm also doing and as you can see this is my studio where I do a lot of my messy work and also I have a door back here that I can open so that if I do you know do something that requires ventilation I can open this door 
which is a really good thing to do you know when you're working with melting plastic or um, doing a lot of things with oh just stuff that you need some ventilation so when I'm using my heat gun I use this door to you know to get some ventilation um, and then you can also see a piece that I'm working on that's that I'm creating a surface um, on a styrofoam tray um, for surfaces and for another um, surface for earrings or actually pendants, maybe earrings, I'm not sure. But you can see that what these are are just, you know, trays, they're styrofoam trays and they're thicker, a little bit thicker than styrofoam plates so they make, uh, really they make better pendants when you do um, pendants and you start make them, making them into stone. Um, I'm going to take you into the rest of my studio where you can see um, where I'm also working on another part of the jewelry making. And um, I am actually in here and I'm working on several different pendants at the same time. Um, this is one that I'm doing um, with a glass globe, little thing with a, it's a little, I don't know what they're called, but they're just little glass, glass things that you get from, from a garden. And I actually, what I did with this is, um, is I took some paper and backed it with, um, on, you know, in the back. I just basically put the paper on the back. And then I covered it with gold and um, I'm going to put this on this um, piece here and uh, create this one. I like that look. And, um, and also this one here is um, created by, by um, using various things, again, re recycled things. Um, this is particularly for a woman who um, said the symbol for her, her basically her symbol was, was flying and um, a bird, I guess, I guess it's basically flight. And uh, wings? No, it was wings. Okay, anyway. So um, I'm using a bird feather. Um, I'm not sure what kind of bird feather it is, but it reminds me of a blackbird or crow. And then a lapis, a little lapis, and um, a little gold um, spiral that came off of a jewelry piece. And then this face, um, I'm not really sure if you can see it, but this little face here is um, is a face that I did. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's a little face that I did um, with some um, modeling clay that I stamped into a piece of jewelry to create, and I really like it. And I think this is perfect for her. And then this thing that's in the back um, is interesting too because this this stuff here is um, made by. Oh, it's something you put on the machine and you sew on and then you put in water and then the, um, the material disappears and leaves the fabric. And I really think this is cool. So this will be on her, her piece as well. And um, this piece here is made from um, a ring that I wore for a long time, but I'm going to recycle. And this is uh, a piece of acrylic skin that um, was on my palette and I took off and I just um, peeled it off after it was dry. Then I put, um, it was like iridescent paint, so it was really cool anyway. And then while I was using the resin, I just really, you know, just embedded stuff into it. So there's got all kinds of things in it. Um, there's some beads and some computer wire and all kinds of stuff that I just basically embedded, embedded into it. And then this is, um, again, a surface that I created by, I tried with, um, uh, I wanted to make sure that this worked, so I just wanted to try to see it. So what I did is I covered the, the tray with glue and uh, paint, and I mixed the paint and glue together, and then I covered it, and while it was wet, I placed, um, tissue paper and I put glitter on it and I just kind of let it dry and then after that I put the resin over it and it created a really interesting sheet on the tray and then when it was dry I could just literally peel it off so again it makes some really interesting um, material to use for collage material and this is just um, while this little piece of um, plastic was on my table 
while it was, um, well, I, you know, I cut it out and I just basically just stamped some gold paint onto the plastic.